Greetings, everyone. Well, hey, the Comic Book Wednesday updates continue and conclude <laughs> with the actual comic book updates. Yes, got a whole bunch of comics. Uh, there was also a few that I actually realized I forgot to include last time. So um, let's let, let's check those out, too. Sorry, forgot. I don't know why I didn't bring them over with the rest of the pile. But what the heck? I mean, the last update was stupidly massive anyway, so... You know, if I missed three, so what? It gives us three more to talk about this time. All right, let's get right to it. Comic Book Update, Comic Book Wednesday, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Okay, first up, the ones I forgot... Free Comic Book Day was last month, and uh, Rosie and I did stop by Ye, uh, ye Old Comic Shop. Um, I don't know where hers are. They've disappeared into the abyss of her room somewhere, but uh, um, I thought I'd show you at least the ones that I got. So here we go. So first up, there is a movie of this coming out uh, next month, July 21st. And um, it, it's a movie based on a very popular, long-running, uh, I believe, French series of comic books, a science fiction space opera that's apparently really, really good. Uh, well, the, the books have been available individually for years, but there's a, a collection of new compendiums coming out that compile like three or four of the, the main sort of graphic novel books into larger uh, collected editions. I'm, of course, talking about Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Is that what it was? City of, yeah, the City of a Thousand Planets. So th this is pretty cool. This is a magazine size uh, preview, which basically gives you... I don't know if this is the very first story, but uh, I'm assuming it is. So it gives you some, uh, you know, about a dozen or so pages from the Ambassador of Shadows, which is one of the main, you know, one of the big story arcs from, I guess, the uh, earlier ones. But, I mean, just look at this. I mean, the, the artwork in this comic is fantastic um so yeah i definitely want to pick up the the collected editions of these because uh i do love me some space opera and i don't know how i had never heard of valerian uh, 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 until now but um hey you know that that's just something cool when you discover one of those hidden gems that you had uh, up until that point been unaware of so, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to pick up those collected editions when they come out. There's three volumes coming out, which cover, I think, the first, like, 12 graphic novels. So, uh, a good chunk of the saga. All right, so next up, uh, picked this one up. Just looked interesting. Got the Ballad of Franklin Bonsteel. So, there you go. Which is, or Bonnesteel, sorry, Bonnesteel. Which is uh, this really cool-looking black-and-white indie comic. Uh, I'm not even sure what it's about. It just looked really interesting, kind of a noirish look to it. Very cool indeed. So, yeah, so grab that one. And then finally, picked up I Hate Image, <laughs> which looks, uh, looks kind of like the... Um, it, it reminds me of a lot of the so-and-so destroys the Marvel Universe... Uh, comics and whatnot and this features what is her name she's in like a bunch of uh stuff ah where is it here hold on a second um, i hate fairyland gert that's who it is yeah so it's based on a series called i hate fairyland where this little girl basically goes and just lays waste to everything but uh, it reminds me a lot of the you know fred hembeck destroys the marvel universe Mar uh, deadpool destroys the marvel universe Punisher destroys the Marvel Universe. Or even more so, uh, you know, kids of the 80s may remember a comic called Boris the Bear, where Boris the Bear was basically this robotic bear uh, with homicidal tendencies who basically just went around killing uh, pastiches of popular comic book characters at the time. So it looks very much in that vein. Speaking of Boris the Bear, why don't we have collected editions of that? Can someone get on that, please? I would love to have a complete set of that. To be fair, the back issues aren't that expensive. Uh, it wasn't one that really had sort of mass success, I guess. I mean, the original comic only ran for like two or three years. 
but uh, but such a great comic, and really one of those hidden gems that I've been talking about since Valerian talking earlier. Um, yeah, Boris the Bear, collected editions, please and thank you. <sighs> now, this month is a month of a lot of cancellations. Uh, first up, we have Gem and the Misfits, which is the fifth and final issue of the Misfits miniseries. Now, also, as I think I mentioned last time, the main series of Gem has been cancelled. Uh, issue 26 is the last of those issues. Now, I should mention both the Misfits and... Oh, yeah, here we go. There it is. The uh, little promo for the final issue of Gem right there. Well, it was, it was fun while it lasted, but they are bringing both of them back in two three-part miniseries. There's, uh, what's it called? Infinity or something like that? Infinite. Yeah, so there's Gem Infinite and Misfits Infinite, two three-issue miniseries that intertwine with each other. And um, where it goes beyond that, who, who knows? It sounds like they're taking it in some pretty different directions, though, more of sort of a sci-fi direction. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Next up, uh, I just finished reading all of these and uh, absolutely loved it and then found out that it's been cancelled. Issue number 12 of The Flintstones. The final issue of The Flintstones. Seriously, pick up the collected editions or something of this. I think a lot of people were put off by this because it wasn't the same sort of, you know, goofy, screwball, honeymooners-esque humor of the original series. It was more kind of, um, uh, you know, quite honestly, quite scathing uh, satire. And I love satire, so I really dug that. But I can I can totally understand why uh, some people may have been uh, taken aback, put off, whatever, and not really latched onto it. But if you do enjoy satire, um, I, I definitely recommend checking out the Flintstones because it's uh, it, it, it's deceptively brilliant. Um, I, I really enjoyed it a lot, and I'm sad to see it go, but uh, but the 12 issues we got were top-notch, and uh, I definitely recommend that. And then next up, another one that's apparently been cancelled. Future Quest, issue number 12, final issue. Get them while they're hot. Yeah, so this one I've actually only read, like, the first issue, of it, so I have the entire saga to enjoy now. But... Um, yeah, so it seems like the only so of all, and as we know, Wacky Raceland was was canceled a few months back. Um, so it looks like of the four Hanna Barbera reimaginings, the only one that's still going is Scooby Apocalypse, and I don't know what the plan is for that. If that's going to be canceled soon as well, uh, but I know that it it got a thirteenth issue, so it got past that second batch of six. So presumably we'll get at least up to issue eighteen. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Unless it was one of those cases where they just decided to give it one more issue than the others. Uh, I, I don't know. But um, but yeah, so it looks like they, they basically had their fun and they're done now. And that's unfortunate. But um, honestly, I mean, when I saw the original concept, my, my initial thinking was these probably won't last very long just because they're so radically different. But the fact that they were so radically different and were presenting unique and interesting looks at these classic characters, the likes of which we had literally never seen before, yet at the same time were respectful of their origins. That is a tough balance, man. And I think they pulled it off amazingly. I mean, Future Quest is the ultimate freaking crossover of all the big 60s and 70s Hanna-Barbera action-adventure shows. Uh, Flintstones is just biting social and political satire. Scooby Apocalypse is great. I mean, it just it takes the whole Scooby-Doo concept to a whole new level, throwing them into a post-apocalyptic environment and government conspiracies and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and, uh, and then Wacky Raceland. I mean, what a brilliant idea, taking that concept and throwing it into a Mad Max-style post-apocalyptic world. Um, and it worked really well. It was just crazily good. But... Um, I guess some people just want more of the same, and uh, you change things up too much, they resist. They resist the change, because change is scary. Oh, well, what can you do? Uh, let's see, next up, I realized when I picked up the last batch of this comic, I missed an issue, namely issue number 15 of Invader Zim. So, for whatever reason, this one doesn't seem to be a popular issue. There was a lot of copies left on the stands. I had no trouble getting it. Um... Maybe people just don't like Miss Bitters. I don't know. Whatever. Doom, 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 doom. Go home now. 
<laughs> um, let's see what else here. Next up, we got issue number two of Micronauts: Wrath of Karza, which is pretty cool. I think there's there's a couple more issues of Micronauts out now as well. I couldn't find them actually. I could find no issues of Micronauts other than the annual, which I already have. Um, Micronauts. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Micronauts is done now, too. <laughs> maybe this is where Micronauts picks up. Uh, okay, well, if that's the case, I guess I'm all up to date on Micronauts. I saw, I was just looking, uh, they had the um, Hasbro Universe May checklist here, and I don't see Micronauts listed anywhere among, among them other than this series here, uh, Wrath of Karza. Now, one I did look for was Mask, Mobile Armored Strike Command. Uh, last issue I got was number five. I could not find any issues of it. No, that's what it was. It was Mask only had the um, the annual. Uh, I don't know, somebody went and bought them all up or something, but uh, uh, no sign of issues six or seven. I should mention also, uh, Gem, no sign of issue 26. It should be out by now. I'm pretty sure it's been out for a little while now. I would really hate to be missing that one issue because I have issues 1 through 25, a solid run. It would really suck to be missing the final issue. So, I don't know, I'll keep you posted on that. I'm sure it'll turn up at some point. If not, I'll ask my friendly neighborhood comic book store to see if they can uh, hunt it down for me. Uh, next up, we got issue number 4 of Revolutionaries, which is basically the one that, it, that sort of ties all of the Hasbro Universe stuff together. Uh, this is kind of the nexus point that everybody crosses over into. And uh, stuff like that, so pretty cool. And got all up to date on our favorite Space Knight. We got ROM number 10. And ROM number 11. And there we go. Did I just crunch the cover? No, I did not. Okay, never mind. I'm a little paranoid about that. Anyway, ROM number 11. So all up to date on ROM. Uh, I gotta find out what's happening with the other ones. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. And then finally, last but most certainly not least, I figured well, I should at least get one trade paperback to add to the various uh, collections of trade paperbacks. I was actually looking for Green Arrow Volume 8, which is out now, but uh, the local comic store does not seem to have it. Uh, the last one they have is Volume 6, actually. I just finished reading Volumes 6 and 7, so I'm really anxious to carry on with Volume 8. By the way, there's going to be nine volumes total. And the ninth volume will contain the last batch of issues from the regular series, like 73 through 80 or something like that. Mike Grill did up to issue number 80. And then uh, it will also include um, uh, Green Arrow, The Wonder Year, which is kind of a retelling of the origin story uh, by Mike Grell. So it'll basically wrap up all Mike Grell Green Arrow stuff ever in that final volume. So... Uh, yeah, so if you were wondering how many volumes of the Mike Grell Green Arrow series is going to be, it's going to be nine. So there you go. Volume nine will be the last one. So I, I didn't find that, so I thought, well, I'll get this instead. Volume four of Fables. There you go. I still actually have to read volume three, but I figure uh, I'm liking it enough that I know I'm going to want to keep going at least through a few more volumes, so we'll see, see how it goes. My understanding is it's one of those series that just keeps getting better and better as it goes. And it's pretty epic stuff, so um, yeah, definitely enjoying that one. Alrighty, well that is it for the comic book update uh, for this week. Um, yeah, some pretty cool stuff, lots of single issues and uh, some fill-ins, and uh, looks like my comic book budget will be getting a bit of a uh, reprieve now, because a lot of stuff that I've been collecting has been cancelled. So, uh, just got, you know, the mini-series is of Gem to go and then those are done but no more flintstones no more wacky raceland no more future quest possibly no more Spo scooby apocalypse <laughs> spoopy spoopy apocalypse i i don't know we'll see see how things go and it looks like micronauts may be done as well and has turned into the wrath of karza story i don't know if they're just going to do a series of mini series of micronauts now if the the regular series is done i i don't know i'm gonna have to do some research and find out what's happening with that anyway uh hope you enjoyed more updates coming uh, throughout the week. I've got a whole pile of Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff like that over the past month. And uh, I figured it's about time I got the update videos done. Um, yeah, so we'll see you then. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. You guys and gals are awesome. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, we'll see you next time. So until then, sayonara. <laughs>